For StateCollege.com, I'm Laura Nichols. Prosecution presented its last witness today, but it was some of the most graphic testimony we've heard to date. Things that I won't repeat on here to spare you, but an 18-year-old boy was very flustered on the stand. He had his head in his hands. It was another emotional testimony. Um, it got to the point where Prosecutor Joseph McGettigan asked him, can you point to the man who did this to you? And he said, I don't want to look at him. He said his name, he shuddered, and he did eventually turn his head in that direction, but he had a very difficult time uh, getting to that point. We also heard testimony from uh, Detective Anthony Sassano, who led the investigation um, into finding these alleged victims. He went through photos in the Sandusky home. They had received a search warrant to uh, go through them. He saw the layout of the house, the basement, what it looked like, um, everything down to the waterbed that all these boys talked about. He found letters that were in, um, that were left over in, still in the Lash football building. He found the, those alleged love letters to, that were written to victim number four. Um, the prosecution did exhaust their list of witnesses today. They have not officially recessed, um, as Judge Cleland said they might, um, but they do have just some more legal matters to work out that they don't need to present in front of the jury. Uh, Joe Amendola said that the defense will present its witnesses on Monday. It's unclear if Jerry Sandusky will testify then. However, Amendola promised that he would have his client testify on his own behalf, so we'll have to stay tuned and see what happens on Monday. For StateCollege.com, I'm Laura Nichols.